Hi Church, it's good to be together again today as we try to stay connected to one another and to Jesus through these daily devotional times. Today I'm going to continue my series of devotions meditating on some of the images and titles that are given to Jesus in the Gospels, either by himself or by others. And today we want to spend a few minutes thinking about Jesus as teacher. I'd like to read a couple of passages where Jesus is a teacher from the scripture. First is in Matthew chapter 13. Jesus put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in the field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and then went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? And he answered, An enemy has done this. The slave said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, No, for in gathering the weeds you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time I will tell the reapers, Collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles and be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. Then Jesus left the crowds and went into the house, and his disciples approached him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. Jesus answered, The, the one who sows the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, and the good seed are the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age. And the reapers are angels, just as the weeds are collected and burned with fire. So will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out all of his, uh, they will collect out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all evildoers. And they will throw them into the furnace of fire, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Let anyone with ears listen. We read another time that Jesus was teaching, and a little different kind of teaching setting. This is in the, the 12th chapter of St. Mark's Gospel. One of the scribes came near and heard them disputing with one another, and seeing that he answered them well, he asked Jesus, which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, the first is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Then the scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one, and besides him there is no other, and to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding and with all the strength and to one love one's neighbor as oneself. This is much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. After that, no one dared ask him any questions. During the three years of Jesus' life that are recorded in the Gospels, so much of the time was spent teaching. Jesus redefined the Ten Commandments for those who thought that they had figured out how to keep them all to God's satisfaction. He even simplified those commandments to just two, as if that would make us any more successful in keeping them to God's satisfaction. He skillfully told, called, he skillfully told stories called parables to illustrate truths about the way things are in God's kingdom by using familiar situations and activities that were readily recognizable to his listeners. Occasionally, when they still had trouble understanding his point, he would unwrap the meaning for them. But his most powerful teaching method was his own life. As he lived and as he died, he illustrated what it means to be a child of God. Jesus really did always love God, with all of his heart and with all of his soul, and with all of his strength and with all of his mind. And he always did love his neighbor as God loves everyone. Through his words and through his actions, Jesus is teaching us today in the same way he taught those that he encountered during his journey here on earth. The hymn verse says, Give me the strength to do 
with ready heart and willing, whatever you command, my calling here fulfilling. Help me do what I should with all my might and bless, the outcome for my good, for you must give success. Let us pray. Jesus, Master, Teacher, we give you thanks for all the ways you have, have unveiled to us the story of how you won our salvation and the way God wishes us to live with one another. May we learn from your teaching of us how God can use us to teach his ways and his will to others to whom he sends us. And may we follow your example as we yield to your Holy Spirit so that we do not try to make our teaching of others just in the words we speak, but also in the lives we live. Amen. Dear friends, may the peace of Jesus fill you today as you journey through whatever places God is leading you, uh, that you might be the presence of Jesus to anyone to whom he sends you today. Have a great day. God bless.